What is the worst Sonic game? A lot of you are probably saying Sonic 06 or Sonic X on the Leapster, but you're wrong. In this video, we're going to be talking about Sonic Schoolhouse, the weirdest and worst Sonic game ever made. Sonic Schoolhouse is an educational game and nowadays is most known for inspiring Baldi's Basics. But while many of you have probably played Baldi's Basics, I don't think a lot of you have played Sonic Schoolhouse. The game was released for Windows on October 18th, 19. It was set to be the first in a series of educational Sonic games, but no sequels were ever released, probably because the game did not perform so well. The game was developed by BAP Interactive and Orion Interactive. It was originally going to be called Answer Hunt and would have featured this weird clock character as the main character of the game. That was until Orion Interactive struck up a deal with Sega to put Sonic into the game, officially changing the game's name to Sonic Schoolhouse. So without further ado, let's jump right in to Sonic. Sonic Schoolhouse. Now getting this game to work is a bit of a struggle. First you have to find a copy of it. You could buy a physical copy and use like a CD-ROM drive, but I imagine most people are just going to get a download offline. I got mine on the internet archive, although that might be a bit difficult right now, but there are plenty of other sites where you can find the download for this game. Now is the struggle of getting it to work on a modern computer. I used a DOSBox to run an old version of Windows so that I could play the game through, although it wouldn't work in regular DOSBox for some reason reason, so I had to use a fork of DOSBox called DOSBox X. But when I used that, it worked fine. So now you can boot up the game and begin playing. The startup screen for this game is super weird. You got this weird 3D model of Sonic yapping at you. You also get the choice to pick your own character, although you play in first person, so this doesn't really matter. They are all absolutely terrifying 3D models, and I chose the most terrifying one. After you click go, you're plopped right into the schoolhouse and can begin playing the game. You can walk in a classroom room to learn either math, spelling, or reading. And as soon as you enter one of the classrooms, you see these goofy looking numbers or letters with eyes on them. Why they gotta have eyes on them? The numbers are alive. There are problems to solve on these chalkboards, and you just find the answer and plop it on the chalkboard. From doing this, you can get these things that are on the side of the screen, which allow you to either ride the bus or play a game. Or give you a key, which will let you unlock one of the locked doors that they have to answer more math problems, I guess. So let's go ahead and ride the bus. Well, it turns out the bus rides are just them showing videos of animals. I was getting excited. I thought we were going to have some real fun after just doing math problems, but now we're just learning about animals. I guess it's better than math. Now let's go and play these games that we can play. So in this one you have to collect five rings and it's super easy and you can do it in like 12 seconds. This is barely a game. The other game is a matching game and it's pretty easy. More hard than the collecting rings game but still it's really basic and that's pretty much all you can do in this game. Solve math and spelling problems and play short games and go on on bus rides and learn about animals. Oh, I almost forgot. There's also a multiplayer mode, so you can see the goofy, freaky characters walking around. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Overall, this game is really just super weird, and it's even weirder that Sonic is in it. I don't know why Sega made that deal to put Sonic in this game. It really should have just stayed Answer Hunt with the weird clock character. It didn't need Sonic. The game itself is not a Sonic game. It is a educational game that stars Sonic. Sonic and really does anything that Sonic would do in this game. He's not fast, he just stands there and talks about math. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thought it'd be pretty funny to talk about Sonic Schoolhouse. More videos coming soon. Comment what I should talk about next. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.